Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorials series. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, I would like to discuss PHP mathematical constants and functions. To perform mathematical calculations easily, PHP provides various mathematical functions and constants. To perform mathematical calculations easily, PHP provides various mathematical functions and constants. Let's start with GMP underscore sign function. GMP underscore sign function is used to test whether the given value is positive integer or negative integer or zero. GMP underscore sign function returns one if the given value is positive integer. It returns minus one if the given value is negative integer. It returns zero if the given value is zero. Let's have a demo and understand how do we use gmp underscore sign function inside PHP. I go to WAMP server www directory. Within the www directory, we have created default.php file. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.php file is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to default page. Here in the body section, I say less than question mark PHP, which indicates the beginning of the PHP code, question mark greater than, which indicates the end of the PHP code. Here I say echo GMP underscore sign bracket bracket semicolon. Here I give the number 22. What output we get guys here? As the given value is a positive integer, we get 1. That's what it does, right? It returns 1 if the given value is positive integer. Let me save it, file, save. Go to the browser. Here I say localhost forward slash default.php. Hit enter. You see that default.php file is executed. We got the output 1. I go back here and say echo br to push the next content to the next line. I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down here. And this time I give the negative 22. What output we get? We get minus 1. Why we get minus 1? We know that gmp underscore sign function returns minus 1 if the given value is negative integer. Here, the value is negative integer, we get minus 1. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see, we got minus 1. I go back. I'm going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. I give the value 0. What output we get? We get 0 because gmp underscore sign function returns 0 if the given value is 0 file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see that we got 0. You can see here gmp underscore sign function takes the integer as well as string. So this time we test with string guys. I am going to copy these two lines of codes, come down here, paste and this time I give instead of integer 22, I give string 22. We should get the output 1 guys. File, save, go to browser and refresh, you see we got 1. I go back, I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down and I give here string minus 22. We should get the output minus 1. File, save, go to browser and refresh, you see we got minus 1. I go back, I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. We should get here 0 if I give string 0. File, save, go to browser and refresh, you see we got 0. I hope you guys have clearly understood how do we use the gmp underscore sign function. Next we understand abs function. abs function returns the absolute value of the given number. It returns the absolute value that is positive value of the given number. Let's see how do we use the abs function. I go back here. I am going to select all these lines of codes. Say delete, file, save, go to browser and refresh. I come back to notepad. Here I say echo abs if i give minus 22 we get the output 22 it returns the positive value of the given number i say file save good browser and refresh you see we got 22 i go back i say here echo i use the br tag to push the next content to the next line i'm going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down this time i give minus 22.5 what output we get guys we get positive 22.5. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got 22.5. I go back. I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. 
and this time I give a positive number itself. If we have given the positive number, we get the positive number only. File, save, good browser and refresh, you see we got 22. So that is how the absolute function is used to get the absolute value of a given number. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I hope you guys have clearly understood. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about PHP mathematical constants and functions. Try this code yourself. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.